Have you ever struggled with getting your batter to stick to your delicious fried foods? Well today on WTF, we're going to show you how to turn your batter into the perfect batter using batter bind. Hello and welcome to WTF where we transform food here in the Modernist Pantry Test Kitchen. I'm Chef Scott Guerin. And I'm Janie Wang, the owner of Modernist Pantry. So today we have an ingredient for you called batter bind. So now we're going to do a total expose on it. <laughs> Scott, is batter bind exactly how it sounds? Yes, batter bind helps your batters bind better. So what it does is it actually it's an adherence product so what it does is when you put something into a batter it's going to stick to it better mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to do a demo here today of something like a fried pickle but it's going to be a fried kimchi and generally when you make fried pickles it's a pickle that's slightly shriveled up inside of a, a container of batter mm -hmm. but with this as you can see with our two uh, over here and we're going to get to those in a little bit uh, there are some that are stuck on there much better and there's some that is completely blown off and that happens a lot when the water starts to boil mm -hmm. Great. So batter bind quickly is uh, made mostly of cornstarch, but it's not just traditional cornstarch. So don't think you can just, oh, well, I'm just going to put more cornstarch into my batter mm -hmm. because this is a modified cornstarch and the modification there helps with that adherence. Mm -hmm. So let me get into the demo and kind of All show right. uh, proof of concept of, I'm going to take something that is very wet, a kimchi that is made, it's completely in brine, you can see it. You know, very wet, it's actually dripping all over the place. And I'm going to put it right into my batter. Generally, you would need a pre dredge if you were doing a fried pickle or anything that's fried that's very wet like this. Okay. Obviously, I'm going to get off any excess batter. You can already see it's not peeling right off the outside of the kimchi. And then I'm going to put it directly into my oil. Okay. And Scott, what's in that batter right there? So, that batter right here is a basic, uh, you know, flour, cornstarch, or flour, batter bind, <laughs> and uh, uh, instead of water or soda water, I actually use the kimchi brine okay. to make that beautiful color and get all that extra flavor in there on the kimchi itself. Great. All right. So while that's doing, um, frying away, if somebody wanted to use batter bind, what are kind of some of the recommendations around usage ratios? Uh, is it like pure batter bind or is it part of whatever you're already doing? Yeah, so batter bind is great because you can actually make a almost a complete batter out of batter bind. It, it goes right. anywhere from 20% to 95% of the total right. weight of the dry ingredients in your batter. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're going to use it in a dry breading, you can actually use this in a dredge too. So if you're doing a three-stage process, you know, right. flour, egg wash, breadcrumb, you can do, you know, uh, 10 to 30% of the weight of your dry ingredients, your first dry dredge, egg wash, breadcrumbs. It's going to make it stick on there better. Things like schnitzels, things like mm -hmm. uh, fried chicken. It's going to make it stick on there better. Great. And as we can see on the overhead camera, so this right now yep, is just frying give up it really flip. beautifully. And it's got a great color to it. Um, so while that's finishing up, why don't we kind of look at what are these two plates we have here in front of us? Yeah, so there's a distinct difference between these two. This one on your left mm -hmm. is uh, coated in the batter bind batter. Mm -hmm. And you can see there's no holes in it. It's completely contained and you can see it with all of them. Mm -hmm. And these are the same exact batter, but I just use traditional cornstarch and you can see it blows out and you see all this exposed uh, kimchi that is just fried and actually it's getting overcooked in there. Right, so yep. this is contained, it's making a nice shell for it mm -hmm. and it's stuck to it. Yeah, so definitely in the kitchen, this is the one that, uh, that we'd want to eat because yeah, it's, it's evenly coated. You'd want to sell it, you want to give it to your friends. So while you're doing that, and you can hear the crunch on it, I'm sure. Mm, it's still crunchy. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Yeah, and it's, it's as quick as that. It's a very mm -hmm. easy fry because I'm not, you know, I don't have to cook uh, until it's pasteurized because it's beautiful kimchi and it's completely all the way contained and I just yep. dab it off over here you on a little see bit here as well on the um on the piece that I just bit off that you're still getting an even coating even after someone bit into it so yes. you're not getting a like a crumbled like that yep. immediately falls apart Right? Yeah, so it's not yeah, it's not breaking completely down. It's not going to change your, your recipe. So say you have a recipe, batter or breading, that you love and you don't want to make this one. You can just add this in. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. You would replace some of the flour that okay. is in your current recipe with this. So you're not just making it drier by adding more of it. Right. You're gonna replace some of that flour or cornstarch or whatever the dry ingredient is with the batter bind. Mm -hmm. and it's just gonna make it stick better. It's not gonna change the flavor of your uh, recipe. Yeah, and you definitely wanna even do a further upgrade to your recipe. You can mix it with some with some Evercrisp mm -hmm. or with some Crisco to yeah. get it more crunchy because this product and I think one of the things that people always ask is, does it also make it more crunchy? Uh, it's technically made of, of a modified cornstarch, and cornstarch does make things more crunchy. But if you're using it in just a small amount, it's not going to really enhance the, the crispiness, the crunchiness, like an Evercrisp or a Crisp Coat. Okay. Those are for that prolonged, you know, really amazing crisp and crunch for, you know, if you're even putting it into a to-go container, mm -hmm. it will stay crispy. This is for adherence. This makes it you know, stick to the outside so you have a more consistent product. You're not throwing away pieces like this. You're not wasting pieces like this. Yeah, and you know, so while we were kind of discussing what we we're gonna talk about on today's WTF, we were like, all right, we got this amazing fry kimchi. It tastes delicious. What do we do with it? So we have an extra special treat where we actually, sort of, when I say we, I mean Scott. Scott actually, <laughs> made a finished product. I'll so take we're gonna these out of the way. Right and with the magic of television, <laughs> is this how we wanted it? Yeah, we want to show right, that camera that. right there. That. So what I did is I took uh, some pork belly and I marinated it in some uh, shoyu koji and we do have a recipe on uh, blog.monitorspantry.com for making koji and shoyu koji. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can read all about it right there because if I explained it right now, we'd be here for a long time. Mm -hmm. So you can look it up and I marinated that pork belly and I roasted it nice and low and slow for hours until it's fall apart tender and I put the uh, kimchi with it. And then I also have this really beautiful uh, spicy mustard caramel that I puffed in the freeze dryer, which there will eventually be a recipe for that. And people mm -hmm. are kind of excited about it. We teased it on our Instagram. Yep. And then a little bit of soy caramel in there as well, just for salty, sweet, uh, mm -hmm. tangy kind of uh, really amazing entree or appetizer, depending on the size you make. Yeah, and we're gonna and this eat recipe that. is going to be on the blog too, Yes, right? yep, okay. that recipe so will be on the blog. you're going to get the kimchi which is on the blog. You're going to know how to fry it from today's WTF mm -hmm. on the blog. And then you can also make the pork belly and, and basically yeah. DIY all of this. Yeah, you have a completed dish. Which is awesome. So, you know, batter bind, in a nutshell, it's super easy to use. Just put 20 to 95% of it into whatever you're already doing. Yep. It works great, makes these perfectly even adhesions. And uh, you're going to end up with a better fried of better fry product. Yep. So from here in the Modernist Pantry Test Kitchen, I'm Janie Wei. And I'm Scott Guerin. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you want these great recipes and these awesome ingredients, first you're going to have to like, comment, and subscribe. And then you're going to go to blog.modernistpantry.com where you can find those awesome recipes and you can ask a chef. And to get these great ingredients, go to modernistpantry.com. And until next time, We'll be here in the Modernist Pantry Test Kitchen, helping you transform food.